magandang araw po sa lahat. In behalf of my partner Miss Rosa, ito po ang inyong lingkod na si Rowena ng Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions. Nandito po kami ngayon upang ay lahat ang pagkukumpara ng bagong labas na statistical data for presidential and vice presidential preference ng Pulse Asia. Alam po namin na interesado na po kayong makita ang comparison. Ang pagkukumpara ay mayroon pong two parts. Una, ikukumpara po natin ang nasabing resulta sa datos ng pahayag Q4 ng Publicus Asia at sa pinakabagong release natin dito sa Splat Communications Calia Survey Summary Part 6 na mayroong mahigit na 82,000 respondents. Sa ikalawang part naman po ay hihimayin natin ang datos ng Pulse Asia sa bawat rehiyon ng kanilang pag-aaral. Nakasentro ito sa limang bahagi, National NCR, Balance of Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Ito ay atin ding ikukumpara sa ating mga aktwal na datos. Ayon sa lathala ng Pulse Asia, ang pag-aaral ay kanilang isinagawa December 1-6. Ito ay may kabuang 2,400 respondents, at ang method ng pagkalap ng datos ay face-to-face -face interview. Para po simulan na ang paglalahad, Miss Rosa, please go ahead. Thank you my partner Sweetie Wina, once again, a superb intro. It's very detailed and clearly explained. You have set the tone for today's video. Before I forget, gentle reminder for those who say they can stand my voice. Please feel free to turn off your volume now as we will immediately start after a few seconds of our splat video. Thank you. Good day, Rosa here, let's start. This is a statistical presentation and comparison of survey data from three national surveys taken for the vice presidential preference. The data are from Pulse Asia with 2,400 respondents, Publicus Asia Pahayag Q4, and Splat Communications with over 10,000 respondents. The Pulse Asia survey was conducted from December 1 to 6, and the method was face-to-face -face interview with 2,400 respondents. The Publicus Asia survey, Pahayag Q4, was conducted from December 6 to 10. Respondents were from the database that were randomly drawn from a market research panel by the Singapore Office of Pure Spectrum, a U.S.-based firm. The Splat Communications respondents are from the collated Cayley Survey blog results. Let us now look at the nationwide results of the three survey data. We shall present each value per survey entity or per row. Please take note that all values are in percentages. For Splatcom, Doc Willie has 6.12, Senator Kiko 4.56, Mayor Indelisera 55.08, SP Sato 19.24, and Mayor Lito 1. Undecided is 14%. For Publicus Asia Pahayag Q4, Doc Willie has 11.2, Senator Kiko has 9.7, Mayor Indri Sara has 54.8, SP Sato has 11, 
Mayor Leto has 1.5 and Undecided is at 11%. For the latest Pulse Asia survey, Doc Willie has 6, Senator Kiko has 12, Mayor Indy Isera has 45, SP Soto has 31, Mayor Leto has 1 and Undecided is 5%. Let us now compare the results of Pulse Asia and Publicus Asia Q4. The differences can be seen in the bottom layer, enclosed in a red rectangle. The most significant difference for both studies is the percentage of SP Sato which is 20% higher in the Pulse Asia survey. Another remarkable difference is Mayor Indy Sara's percentage is lower by 9.8% in Pulse Asia. Senator Kiko's percentage is higher in Pulse Asia by 3.3% while Doc Willis is lower by 5.2%. Now, let us compare the figures of Pulse Asia against Plat Communications. The most remarkable differences are the higher percentages of SP Soto and Senator Kiko in the Pulse Asia survey, with 11.76 and 7.44 respectively. Conversely, the values of Mayor Indy Sara is lower by 10.08 and the undecided by 9%, both are enclosed in green rectangles. It's time for your favorite math pop quiz. What is the sum of the values inside the green rectangles? Compare this with the sum of the percentages of SP Soto and Senator Kiko. As usual, please jot down your answers in the comment portion. Comparing the nationwide results of Splat Communications and Publicus Asia Q4, the results are basically similar except that Senator Soto has a lower percentage in Publicus by Now that we are through with the first part, we have compared the nationwide results of the three surveys. We shall move to part 2. We shall compare our figures with that of Pulse Asia in four other specific areas, NCR, Balance of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. This is where everything will get really interesting, trust me. Are you ready ladies and gentlemen? Let's go! For the National Capital Region, please look at the bottom row enclosed by the red rectangle. The remarkable difference between the two results for the vice presidential candidates in this region is that the percentage of Mayor Indy Sara is lower by 8.45% in the Pulse Asia survey while the values of SP Sato and Senator Kiko is higher in Pulse Asia by 7.18 and 1.27%. You are already experts in math pop quizzes. What is the sum of the percentages of SP Soto and Senator Kiko? Compare it with the value inside the blue rectangle. You know where to jot down your answers. For the balance of Luzon figures between Splat Communications and Pulse Asia, the percentage of Mayor Indri Sara is significantly lower in Pulse Asia by a whopping 15.95%. Again the values of SP Sato and Senator Kiko are higher with 15 and 8.55% respectively. You know the drill, please jot down your opinion on the comment portion. Let us now go to the Visayas results and compare them. The most glaring and most significant difference is the 24.96% higher value in Pulse Asia of SP Soto's percentage. The difference in Senator Kiko's figures are also significant as the Pulse Asia report shows his values to be higher by 11.65%. Combined, these statistically significant higher figures are an astounding 36%. Again, Mayor Indy Sara Duterte's numbers are statistically and significantly lower for the Visayas in Pulse Asia by 12.79. It is also interesting to note the undecided differences, 24.16% lower in the Pulse Asia survey.
it's time to look at the Mindanao results next. There are just two glaring statistically significant differences here. The higher percentage of SP Sato in Mindanao in the post asia study by 11.39%. The other is the lower percentage of undecided at 12.59%. Let us look again at the nationwide data for Pulse Asia and Splat Communications. As you can see in the comparison for the Visayas results between Splat Communications Kaylee Survey Summary and Publicus Asia Q4, there are no statistically significant differences between the two, except for the undecided which is at 16.36% This means that their data, in spite of the huge difference in the number of respondents 10,000 and 1,500, they both still yielded similar results. Since there is available data for the Visayas in the Publicus Asia Q4, let us compare this with the Pulse Asia Visayas results. SP Sato is higher in Pulse Asia by an enormous 29.7%. This is very significant considering that both their studies were conducted in the same period with even one day overlapping the two surveys on December 6. Mayor Indri Sara's percentage is lower in the Pulse Asia survey by another whopping 20.8%. Even the undecided is lower by 7.8%. Both are quote scientific surveys unquote. You know the math pop quiz drill, kindly answer now. Even when comparing the Mindanao results of Splat Communications and Publicus Asia Q4, almost all figures are relatively similar and without any significant difference. Comparing the Publicus Asia Q4 and Pulse Asia Mindanao results, the value of SP Sato is almost a 10% higher in Pulse Asia. This is a statistically significant difference. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's video. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, kindly put your comments and opinions but please be mindful that what you write may be a reflection of yourself as a person. Be kind, spread love. In behalf of my gorgeous partner Wina who had to excuse herself early, this is Rosa of Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions wishing all of you a blessed Christmas. Stay safe. Till next time. Bye.